So Dan. Yeah. Hey buddy. We need to talk. Why would that slipper have water in it? Okay. And we've tried All to right. initiate a comfortable discussion. So we need some input from you. Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay. So is there input? On what? Well, you signed a lease for two people, and within three days, you had two more people and a dog move in. So how would you assess that? Assess what? Huh? Assess what? Um, right now I'm doing as my, it's being recorded, as my lawyer told me to, okay? Your what? As my lawyer had told me to. To do what? Record any and all things. I had um, asked you guys for emails and stuff. You didn't ask us for any emails. I did. I got the videos of that. The video. And what did you need an email for? So everything has been documented in black and white. What has been documented, Dan? I'm not getting Anything. It. I'm not fighting with anyone. We're not fighting anything, either, so. but we're trying to understand when you sign a lease for two people, shouldn't you pay a little bit more when additional people come into the facility? When you, when you sign a lease, which we've signed hundreds of leases in my lifetime, I've, I've, I've managed 10 apartments for like 30 years. Um, so, you know, we're very familiar with leases and... and you know what needs to be done mm -hmm. but you know we're not saying that you can't be here okay, it's I'm just not. we want some kind of fair compensation for and some agreement that if you are going to have additional people here and a dog a big dog um, that there's some other compensation and what do you think would be fair I don't know ma'am what? I don't know well if you were the landlord and somebody did this to you, how would you handle it? Don't know. Okay. Um, so what, do, what yeah. are your plans right now then? Are, are you thinking, okay, then there's five of us here now. Is it time for you to move on? I've already planned on. I'm looking at other places. Okay. So how do you handle the fact that it's more expensive for us to have more people here? And that should you pay some additional compensation for that? Oh, uh, see, I'm not going to argue about that. I don't have to talk about it. I know my legal rights. Uh, well, then I guess, should we send you a bill? Do whatever you feel like you must do. I don't think we need to send it there. I think you need We're to. We're trying to talk to you. Uh, yeah? My mom's a super reasonable person. I mean, you're yeah. here in the first place, right? Yes, ma'am. And you, you had already told David that you should make an offer in addition to what you had paid. I did what? You said that you should pay more for the two and a half, the two people plus a dog. Because you, when you signed the lease, it was for you and your daughter, right? Yeah, put me and my daughter on the lease. And so, so should should we sign a separate lease with your girlfriend and her daughter and the dog? Should should because you know a lot of people rent by their room, or rent by the number of, of people that live in the unit. Okay. So you for you and your daughter to be here, that's six hundred dollars a month, right? Three hundred dollars a person. Mm hmm So what do you think would be fair for your additional? partner and daughter and dog. Don't know. Well, um, Dave, what do you think should be done? What do you think would be fair? <clears throat> You're putting Dave on a hard spot, aren't you? I'm not trying to put anyone in a hard spot. 
but we did have a lease signed for a certain thing, yes. Yeah. And that lease has not been kept up anyway, so. In what way hasn't it been kept up that you're thinking? So I'm not going to argue and fight with you. All right, we just need to hear what your thoughts are, because obviously so if you have this something... Is, this is where it's going to end. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Yes, this you is know, where it's going to end. All we need to do is talk. And, you know, the only way that it can get to be an argument is if we don't talk then. And so <clears throat> I think from what I had understood from you speaking to David that you did recommend, and yet you, you didn't ever ask me if you could bring two more people and a dog into the house. And so, you know, it, it has meant that we, we have to come to you to see what kind of a solution we can work out that is fair to you and your girlfriend and da daughter and I, I've met them both, and I'm really very favorably impressed. And I know you're looking for an apartment or a, or something, and, and that seems okay. But in the meantime, we feel that there should be additional compensation. So we'd like to have you discuss that with us, Dan. No, there has not been no new leases made up or nothing. I don't have to talk about it with anyone. There hasn't now, been any leases made up? No new leases or nothing. Do you want us to make up a new lease? With the been, additional members of the panel? There's been no new leases or nothing made up. Is this a monthly lease, Mom, or is it this because she was planning on trying to find a place? Right. And actually, on Bangor Swap and Shop, I saw in Shoppy Trailer Park, which is still in Orono's school system, I think um, there was a unit for sale recently with, I think, either two or three bedrooms. Um, just FYI, because Mom had told me you were, doing, you were looking way back, you know, a month ago or so. Mm -hmm. She said that that was something that you were... Kind of. Also, a lot of places cost yeah. more than here or anybody. Right. Oh, yeah. I know. So, and to have a whole house available to you, you know, it's, it's a pretty good deal in this market in Orono. And school's starting in a month. Even if you say from a book. Back a while ago, I was talking to Dan, and we were talking about 200 more than the 600. So that would be only 800 a month. And it's hard to get something for 800 a month well, that's for sure. in this area. What do you think about that, Dan? Uh, you guys can write up a new lease or whatever. Whatever here. I'm not going to argue. No. I've got. Do you agree with that? To make up a new lease for $800 a month? Um, to to add additional, your, your additional partner and, and uh, daughter and. The dog. And you said you can do whatever. I plan on being out by the end of this month. Uh, by the so end of tomorrow August. Tomorrow is the end of the month, yeah. yeah. But I plan on being out by the end of August. End of, end of August, okay. Then, then that would be okay. You know, we're not, you know, this wasn't part of the plan to, to make accommodations for anybody here. Mm -hmm. It's just that you had a need, and David has a big heart, mm -hmm. and he let you into his, his circle here. <laughs> I tried anyway. <laughs> so, and so my mom is really trying to, you know, accommodate you also because this was not on her repertoire to have to, to deal with that, especially where we're just getting ready to head to camp. And here we are, we're saying, oh no, three and a half hour drive, but we better come up and, and spend some time talking to Dan and come up with some kind of reasonable agreement that, um, and so, so technically your rent is due is, 30 days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31. So July has 31 days. Tomorrow's the last day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you pay your rent on Monday. I'm going to bring my truck down to, on Monday. You yeah. do? Okay. So where is your girlfriend right now, Dan? I'm not sure. She went for a walk. Oh? She went for a walk right now, as far as I know. She went for a walk? 
with the kids? Mm -hmm. Don't have the kids right now. Oh. Okay. Uh, the, yeah. Is your daughter with her mother, Dan? Yeah, she is. Okay. Dan, would you mind taking your glasses off? It just helps me to see the real you. Not just a pair of dark glasses. <laughs> and, and actually your own mirror image in the glasses. <laughs> it's kind of funny yeah. when you look at somebody and that's the scenario mm -hmm. anyway. Well, um... So is your girlfriend in a position to pay a portion of the rent? Or yeah. is that all your responsibility? It's all on me. It's all on you both for this past month and the next month. Mm -hmm. You haven't discussed having her share paying the rent? No, just have her staying with me. She's staying with you? And of course, you didn't ever discuss it with me. that you would bring two more people and a dog into the house. That didn't seem reasonable. If I moved into your house and brought my friend and a dog, you'd say, ah, that's okay. Is that right? No, I did ask David, so. You what? I asked David before I even brought him. Did Dan ask you if he could bring his girlfriend, David? But then we were talking about 200 more for them to come in the house. Okay. Wasn't that true? Yeah. So if you Not pay... You remember. Okay. You what, Dan? No, that weren't true. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, you want to just start a new and add the, that to it, Dan? Yeah? Do whatever. Well, Dave, why don't you work it out with him, okay? Well, and I, I think you're fair in 200 because really he was paying $300 a person before, so really it should be technically $600 plus $100 for a pet fee. So that would have been $1,200, $1,300, and if you're only charging him 800 and that he's out by the end of August because this dog is going to cause a lot of damage because the toenails are so long. <laughs> can see that already on the hardwood floors. She seems like a good dog, though. Yes, you do. You seem like a very good dog. Yes, you do. Yes, I know. <laughs> and since we're all dog lovers here, we have a big heart for dogs. Well, this, this dog was pleased with me the first time. He met me. And he didn't realize that this is your place, not his. <laughs> Don't like strangers coming in my house. <laughs> so Dave, I thought it was your house. So, okay, so Dan, I would like $200 for the month of July. And 800 for the month of August. And in the month of August, it would be really great if you could find a place to move where you'd be comfortable. But since you have ended up here, since you weren't able to find, you know, another situation, then I think it's, I think you're okay to be here through the month of August. There wasn't anything to fight about, Dan. We just <laughs> or to disagree about, you know. I just think that this is, you know, this is yeah, where just, we're at. He could have just got nervous and stuff with situations and stuff, other situations going on, and that you know. Well, mm -hmm. other you have a lot of stress in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you've just yeah. We didn't mean any more stress. We just to talk things out. 
we're kind of different here. <laughs> but that's okay, we'll work through it, won't we? Okay. And David, so you're you lucky, me. David's pretty easy going. So you have a good good teammate to work with and work through. And we will... Um, we'll figure it out. Yeah. And Dave, you can just give us a call in a few days and let us know how everything hashes out. Okay? And, uh, but I definitely would check that Bangor. Do you, are you on that in Facebook? Bangor Swap and Shop or something like that? No, no. No. Hey, did you pull your picture off Facebook? Huh? Did you pull your picture off Facebook? There was a picture of you on Facebook. Which one? I don't know. It wasn't. You're you're a pretty handsome guy, and it wasn't a very flattering picture. So I don't know what one it was. Kevin had seen it, but then when we went, he went to show it to me. It wasn't there anymore. So he thought maybe you pulled it off. There was one that somebody um, stole my, hacked my. Oh, hacked your account. Hacked my account, which was my last account. Mm. With a uh, that had the picture of the new dam and. Oh. A couple other things. And then recently, there's another picture of me on with a whole bunch of hearts around me. Oh. And the A, if you look at the age, it's 19, May of 1955. Oh. And I ain't that old. No, you aren't that old. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that it pops up on you. So, Mom? Well, okay. So, so Dan, as, as soon as you find another situation, would you be sure and call me? Because mm -hmm. I think you, David, can give you my phone number. And, but in, in the meantime, you know, you and your girlfriend need to work out your fu your plans for funds mm -hmm. because it just seems as though there's still 200 due for July. And the full amount should be due for August. And if you find a place before the end, we'll consider sharing back some of that. That's on the way, Dan. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dan? Yeah, I'm not going to argue about nothing. Like I said, everything's been recorded. So... I don't get what you say when everything's been recorded, Dave. Do you know what he's talking about? Huh? What is he talking about when he's saying everything's been recorded? Anybody. Who, what's been reported to whom? This is recorded. Oh, recorded? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who recorded he's it? He's recording this conversation right now. I see. Okay. And did you have permission for us to, re to record our voices while we were talking? I don't need permission. Dan, Dan, you know, when I, when I met you, you were such a gracious guy, and I was so impressed. And we had such a struggle with your siblings and mother here, 